Hi YouTubers, Jeff Cote here with Ask PYS. We've got a question uh, from a fellow voter named Oscar. Oscar's asking us a question about uh, plugging in a USB outlet, basically a replacement for a cigarette lighter, you know? Um, so pretty common, how many of us, there's not that many appliances that need a cigarette lighter, so some of us are installing USB direct, sort of same format, but you don't have to have a cigarette lighter to USB adapter. The cigarette lighter is just powering USB devices, and that's it. So this fellow has a boat, uh, an Oceanus 45, and he's got a standard cigarette outlet in the cockpit, and he tried to change it to a double USB instead. And he says, when I connect a USB to it, the voltage drops from 12 to 3 volts, and the socket won't work. What's going on, and how can you help? Well, that's it. I love that question. So the reality is this. There's a big difference between measuring something voltage under no load and voltage under load. So I saw that years ago. I remember there was a boat uh, that had sunk on the East Coast um, around Rhode Island and an owner here in British Columbia had bought that boat and brought it over and the broker that sold them told them, oh, the boat only sunk for only a few hours. Don't worry, everything is gonna be fine. Well, that was a stretch. And uh, one of the issues that we found, the fridge had been replaced and everything had been replaced. So many things had been replaced. It was a huge job. But one of the things that hadn't been changed uh, by the broker or the outfit that sold the boat was the connections to the fridge. And when we would measure voltage at that outlet behind the fridge at 12 volts, we would measure 12 volts, 13 volts, whatever the voltage at the battery, there is almost no voltage loss because there's no current. But what's interesting is this. What we did is we intercepted the wire and we cut it. And what we noticed is that by installing a terminal strip, we noticed that actually the voltage drop on the fridge because of the line was almost, yeah, it was actually almost as bad as this USB outlet. It was dropping from 12 volts to five volts under load. So as soon as the fridge would kick on, Basically, current wouldn't be able to go through and the voltage drop would be so severe that the fridge would not be working. So the lesson is, and in this case, uh, Oscar's question is really relevant, is that what's mostly likely happening is there's probably a really bad connection in between the USB outlet and the batteries. Probably either at the USB outlet, start there, because that's generally the first thing that you might have touched. And then also look at the wire size. A lot of these USB outlets and cigarette lighters are actually puny, tiny little wires. People are saving pennies and buying a gauge 18 wire that's way undersized. You know, some outlets, you know, think about it. I wire them with gauge 14. Uh, sometimes, like, um, I've got one boat or rib that I have. I knew that I was going to be running large loads. I actually wired it with gauge 10. Go big, go home. And so you really want to minimize voltage drop under load. And so if you've got basically a situation where your voltage drops as soon as you apply a load or connect an appliance, it's generally a sign that you've got a bad connection. So start with the connection points, make sure the wire's not too small, and you'll find the culprit. Thanks for watching this video. If you've got further questions that we didn't answer, please ask them below or go on our website and fill out one of the forms and we'll get a chance to do so. Support us to keep this channel ad-free by donating via PayPal or buying one of these lovely hats. The links are below. And lastly, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so, that way you'll get the regular content. And in closing, thanks for watching.